What is the Foundation to Leadership course? Hello, I'm Caitlin Rossier, a licensed architect, owner of Mentor Dino, and creator of this course. But I want to step back. Why did I even create Mentor Dino? Why am I creating these courses? Mentor Dino was created to empower the architect, engineering, and construction industry through innovative solutions. Addressing these multifaceted gaps in knowledge, and our commitment is to elevate the entire profession, fostering a holistic and collaborative environment along the way. But the Foundation to Leadership course is about talking through that missing puzzle piece as you grow in your career, as you grow into a team leader, a project architect, a project manager, or even the principal level. It is about the human skill side. How does it work for this course? First off, it is about focusing on right now and changing today rather than pushing things off for later. If you constantly push things off, it'll never get done. Time is finite. We don't have unlimited numbers of hours in the day, so it can be hard to find time to train and work on yourself. But think about how much time it took you to build up those technical skills and knowledge. It's not about sitting through a conference on professional development. It is not about sitting through a five-hour workshop in one day. It's about small increments of time and practicing along the way. You've worked so hard on those hard skills to get to where you are and to get you to those promotions and leadership opportunities, but it's those human skills that many people stumble upon and dealing with teams, personalities, and people along the way. If you've built up those hard skills, it's a lot like your dominant hand. You can write, sketch, draw, use the mouse. You have so much you can do with your dominant hand. But have you found your less dominant hand can't sketch as well, isn't as strong as your dominant hand? It's because you're not practicing with it as often as you're right. And it's not always about lifting a bunch of weights to get there, but it's about those day-to-day -day tasks. So you build yourself up as a whole. So what is the foundation to leadership course? This is a little glimpse of what is inside the course. I do recommend going through the order that I have, but it's also meant to not get overwhelmed. It is a pretty long course and not try to dive in and handle it all in one day. I do give a schedule so that you can do this over a three month time span. And all these different lessons are in smaller chunks that are perfect to listen to on your lunch break or fit in between meetings or start or end your day so you can fit it in in your busy schedule. The course itself has circles on the left-hand side with each lesson. A circle will infill in and check off whenever you've completed a lesson. It is when it is a half circle filled, that means you're partial way through that section. So it does keep track on where you are in case you do have to jump off and handle something else. And an open circle means you have not completed that lesson yet. There is a completion bar on the right hand side where you can see how far you are along the way in getting through the course. Generally, each section is all a video presentation where you will see me again and we'll go through the different sections. This is a little snapshot from the delegation section where I actually teach you how to delegate the benefits of de delegating and the different levels of delegation. And I even broke it up into two parts so then you have plenty of time to go through it and fit it into your day. But let's dive into what else is in the Foundation to Leadership course. This one is set up in a very similar way to the Build Your Foundation course. There is the personal section where we talk about yourself as a professional, a team section, and then an organizational section. So the personal section will talk about strengths and weaknesses. If you want to learn about yourself and just understanding all the different resources you have, but understanding learning about the professionals on your team. Not everybody is perfect and not everybody's going to have unlimited strengths, but learning that there are strengths and weaknesses and how you can leverage and grow your team when you focus in on strengths and yes, build some of the weaknesses, but you can't forget about honing in on the strengths as well. I talk about listening skills and actually empathetic listening, which is extremely important for a leader to understand your team, your client, 
and building the firm as a whole. And so I go through the different types of listening and putting an empathetic lens on it. I also talk about learning in this section, which most people laugh, why do I need to learn how to learn? Um, but when have you done so? In the past, we don't often learn how to learn things. And sometimes when you're a more seasoned professional or taking on a leadership role, you have even less time to learn new things throughout the day. So learning more about yourself so you know how you learn best and faster along the way. I talk about goal setting and how to set different goals so you can work through your goals at the start, halfway through the year, end of the year, how to review your goals and see where you're going. I talk about the concept of a multiplier versus a diminisher in terms of a leader and show you where to access a quiz to see how you are in terms of a professional. This does also go along with a more thorough book if you want to learn more about multipliers and diminishers that I really enjoy. So I also give you the link to where that is. I round out this section about stress optimization and burnout. I have found through studies that it's actually the more senior leadership that is actually getting more burnout than the young professionals. And it's because you've been pushing yourselves in your career all the time. And you can't keep up with that pace anymore. It is about learning how to delegate, learning how to optimize your stress, what stress is for you, but then also understanding burnout. And so I go through this section to how to optimize your stress and what that means, but then also teaching what stress is, what burnout is, and what depression is. These are very different things and understanding what they are and how to notice signs. It is actually very difficult to notice when you are burned out in yourself, but it's very easy to see when someone on your team is burned out. So this is much about giving you the knowledge to help yourself, but giving you the knowledge to help the others around you whether that be a team, a partner, a teammate, a peer. Then the teamwork section is all about building your team, um, always being adaptable in your career, how different communication styles need to work together, understanding collaboration techniques. And then the fun one part of in here are the last two sections. It's delegation, where I break into two sections and I actually teach you how to delegate. You may be micromanaging, and if you're micromanaging, you are not delegating at all and not getting any time back in your day. If you learn how to trust your team and build up delegation, so you're building up the delegation ladder, you will find you have more time in your day and your team will grow even faster. So I teach you all the different components between delegation and trust building and then wrap out between the feedback section where I teach you how to give and receive feedback and the different types of feedback. And it gives you a challenge along the way so you can go practice giving and receiving feedback within your firm to get it on a more regular basis and not wait for those year end reviews because that's actually one of the worst times to give feedback. The course itself wraps out with section three regarding the organization, which in this area, a lot of these things you've learned along the way between time management, team management, networking, but I also talk about how to teach that to young professionals. So if you need to bring somebody to a networking event, the worst thing you can do is just ask the whole firm who wants to go. The best thing you can do is go find somebody and figure out what they're passionate about and take them with you. And then I round out the section with visibility in your firm, whether you're partially growing within the firm, how to advocate for yourself, and to build your board of directors in the mentoring section. And that wraps up the Foundation to Leadership course. And this one is all about teamwork and working together as a team to build up not only yourself, but the other professionals on the projects with you, whether it be somebody internally and external consultant or on the contractor side. It's about building everybody up as a whole so we can work together as a team to be connected in our understanding, our priorities, our expectations, and to have a little fun along the way. So I hope you guys like learning a little bit about the Foundation to Leadership course. If you want to learn more, you can check out my website where I actually give you a sneak peek preview of that delegation lesson and you can start to see what I talk about. Hopefully this helps and see if it is something that can help yourself if you're learning to grow or if you're a firm owner looking to grow your professionals moving into leadership 
positions to grow them up as a whole together. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Foundation to Leadership introduction.